Today we're going to be showing you how to finish off and paint your dragon head. Um, as you can see since the last time I was with you, so I've filled in the back of the throat, so we've covered up so you can't see the inside of his uh, inside of the head anymore. I've also added a few more spikes around here and a few spikes across the top of his mouth. Um, but everything's all dry now and he's ready to paint. I would leave him at least a couple of days before you start um, before you put paint on. Once you add that paint on it doesn't give the clear chance to dry anymore because uh, it kind of seals it. Um, so definitely make sure that your clay is 100% dried. Uh, the hardy clay that we used it, it's a lot more it's a lot less brittle than the dust clay so the dust clay is what we use for the base which is nice and hard and that gives it the good support. And then the hearty clay that we use for the detail for the top, it still has a little bit, if you can see his tongue just kind of moving there, it has a little bit of a give. Um, so don't worry if it's still got a little bit of movement. It is dry, it's just that the hearty clay never really like dries hard. So today we're going to be painting. Um, and my paints, I, I never really use proper paints. I use just bog standard little emulsion pots. Um, that does just as well, but I mean, really, I would advise using acrylics. They give a nice finish. Uh, they're really easy to work with. So you've got sort of like your little pots of acrylic paint there, um, and then we're just using ordinary brushes. The two techniques we'll be doing. Obviously, I'll be painting a base coat completely black. We will be painting them all black because that's the base color that you want for all of your detail. Uh, the next step will be dry brushing. Um, and I'll go over the techniques and how to do a good dry brush to get that detail really picked up on all of the scales. So we've painted everything, we've done the base coat all in black. Obviously you can see it looks much better even now. Once you get that black coat on, it really starts to look a little bit like a dark dragon. When you paint that top coat on, you will miss little bits. There's little tiny little white dots like in every nook and cranny. So you, although you've gone over it nicely with the big brush, you need to go over with a fine brush and find every little tiny little white dot and go over that with black. It is time consuming, but you really do it because when we put on the top coat, that white will stay there and you'll be able to see it in the final result. But yeah, just gonna go over it and make sure I haven't missed any little tiny bits. And then we're gonna show you how to do the, uh, the dry brushing technique for the top of the skin. Now we've done all of the base paint and um, we've gone through and getting all of the tiny little nooks and crannies, getting all the little white bits away. So next thing we'll be doing is painting the dragon skin and giving him another coat. But this time we'll be doing it in red. So this technique is called dry brushing. Uh, you might have heard of it, you might not have done. So what dry brushing does is it picks up all the detail. Uh, it won't go, if you dry brushing it won't go deep. It'll just paint the tops of the scales which gives it a really nice kind of depth uh, and it really does show off a lot more detail. So the way that you do dry brushing is you just want a tiny little bit of paint. Again I'm just using emulsion, you can use acrylics, they're probably better. Um, but this is just what I always use. So just a tiny little bit of red paint on the end, get some kitchen roll and take off nearly all of the paint. And then when you brush it lightly across the top, don't have to be neat and tidy with it either. Don't get too much on. If you've got too much on, it will go in the nooks and crannies and it kind of like gathers there, which makes it a bit too red. I'd recommend maybe giving it about two coats so it picks up the colour a lot better. When you first put it on, it looks a little bit brown, a little bit dull. And um, when you do your second coat, it'll definitely come out a lot better red. It'll come out a lot brighter. Again, it would depend on what paints you were using as well, but this is just the, the paint that I always use. Now we've finished doing all the dry brushing across all of the um, across all the dragon scales. Next, I'll be showing you how to do the teeth.
You'll still be using the dry brush technique, but first you need to just get it a nice, we've gone for just, it's a mix of a couple of colours really. It's good if you just use your palette, they'll get you the, the right colour that you need. So this is just a nice dark brown, and all we're going to do is just paint the teeth as best as you can all the way around. Now we painted the base colour on the teeth, so you can see you've just gone for like a nice dirty brown. That's a colour teeth will be on a dragon, I guess. <laughs> um, so next we're going to highlight it. It's a, it's just like the dry brushing technique that I showed you before. So just going to get some kitchen roll and take off the excess of the lighter paint. And then you're just going to dry brush lightly across the top. I've got a bit too much paint up, it's a little bit heavy. So just dry brushing lightly across the top and it'll just fetch out the detail. The spikes are very, very similar to the teeth, so I'm using exactly the same colour palette. So you've got your darker brown for the base, which we'll do first, and then we'll just be dry brushing and highlighting with the lighter colour on the top. So we'll start down his nose. This is uh, my dragon all finished now. Uh, as you can see, we've gone over with the glaze on the eye just to give it a little bit of life. That is just simple, clear nail varnish, which you can buy from any store. If you watch all the tutorials, you'll be able to see how easy it is to make. Um, that's what I was aiming for, and that's what I was trying to show you, that although he looks grand and magnificent, it, it is something that anyone can do.